Welcome back to Relationship. Today is a very special day because finally, Brie Springs, my queen. I literally worshipped you. She's obviously, you know, season 25 of The Bachelor. The only choice. I'm sorry. I'm, you know I'm going to say it. <laughs> I've been saying it. The Here only, we go. <laughs> the, oh, the one who deserved the final rose. Oh. You got my final rose. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I w- that's a really good intro because Great. why does it feel like <laughs> I know you? That was know. You took the words out of my mouth. Yes, because we talk all the time on social media that's and I was standing you. Did you think I was creepy? Like, were you like, this bitch is weird? No, but it was the first, it was the first time for me that there were actually people like real people like cool people watching the show (laughs) yes and And i was like why is she watching this show (laughs) girl first of all i I didn't know people watch the show i didn't really watch the show until hannah brown season okay that was my first time seeing it okay so never saw that season i but it honestly that makes sense to me because uh you were so authentic and Mm -hmm. that's why i fucked with you okay from the beginning because I mean I I have to imagine especially after being out of it and watching people funnel into it yeah there are people that go on that like know what they're walking into oh yeah like yeah there's no way people definitely go in with like ulterior motives they have to you have to I mean you have to yeah you have to because there's like I did the math one time when I was there and it's like 0.72% chance that you actually make it to the end really in the beginning yeah (gasps) Mm -hmm. what made you want to go on The Bachelor the Bachelor, the Bachelor himself. <laughs> Period. Okay, I fucking love that answer. I know. So, I, I feel kind of like a kid. Like I get so mad at myself these days because I, I feel like I went on, and I've been warned by so many people to say, "Do not say this out loud," but I went on because I thought I was going to find love. But why wouldn't you say that? Like, why would you not? want to say it that. It sounds so naive. Like, it sounds like, what fucking rock has Brie been living under? <laughs> She's going on The Bachelor. Yeah. ABC is The Bachelor to find love. <laughs> yeah. Well, because for someone who doesn't, like, if you never watch the show, you're like, oh, this is what people do. Like, that that's a, what a normal person would do. I think I was like, it's, I was like, this is not what people do, but this is my only opportunity that I'm going to get to meet him. So I have to do it on, on a show. Yeah. Like, why not? Naturally. Okay, so after that experience was over, first of all, like we saw kind of how it all, I'm, you know, I'm trying to be nice because I'm still <laughs> part of the whole community and shit, but goddamn, I hated that shit so much. Carly, you and me uh, both. What goes through your mind? Like, did it feel like heartbreak or did it feel like, well, for those of you who don't know, Matt James, who was The Bachelor season 25, um, made the biggest mistake of his fucking life and <laughs> eliminated Brie from the show. Where were you? I love you, you were like the top three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah. Stupid. Anyways, um, enough <laughs> of that. How did you feel when that happened? And mm-hmm. like, did you immediately, shortly after that, like start rebounding or like meeting other people and trying to fill your mm-hmm. time with other dating situations? Yeah, I, I would think I was very, maybe heart not heartbroken is the right word, but I was blindsided. I was mm-hmm. shocked. Like I was in pure state of shock. Like I was like, there's no way that this is happening. I yeah. saw myself at the end of this. I was gonna be at the end of this. Um, which like I mean again you like in that environment it's so mentally taxing that like you will tell yourself anything yeah and that's why I also try to like put it into perspective like whenever you're in like situations like that it's like whenever they give you an inch you just you take a mile yeah regardless like you don't ask questions you just take a mile and it's like one word he probably said Brie I like you and I heard like Brie I love you yeah I was like oh yeah I'm gonna propose to you and you're the winner that's literally what I heard in that situation (laughs) and even if even if he didn't say that I was like okay well he just he can't tell me that he loves me because yeah. you know he can't tell everyone that he loves them but he's oh gonna tell God. me that he loves me in the end and it's gonna be this whole huge thing you know like it's really yeah. it sneaks it's sneaky like that so whenever you know I got sent home I think I just accepted it for what it is I was like mm. <clears throat> I'm sad 
you know, I'm, I'm, I'm more sad cause I lost, you yeah. know, like it was more, I, that at that point it was like a competition to me. Mm. At, like it really, the competition had kicked in. Yeah. So in my mind I was sad because I had lost. Yeah. <laughs> and then afterwards <laughs> you're just kind of trying to process cause you're like, well, was that a breakup? Was that a heartbreak? Am I really sad? Am I just sad that I lost? Am I sad that I don't won't get to talk to him again? Like you just mm. you don't even know what to think because you don't get to talk to them. Yeah. Like you get they send you home and then you might and I literally I remember saying I was like and I'll never talk to you again. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Like you don't talk to them ever again. Um so you get home and you know you, you just you don't you don't know what to do. So you're I'm kind of like trying to just pick up the pieces of the puzzle and you know I remember telling my family and my friends in the beginning I didn't want them to know that I was like broken up with so I was like I'm happy like I'm good Mm. and I think I kept saying that because I was like mentally I've come to the place where it's like okay you didn't win like yeah it is what it is um and you know I think I was happy for that like I was like okay like you know I can close that book but I didn't have any interest in in dating or harping on it like I was I'm also very um Ugh, I always lose this word like it's logical is not the right word but I'm like even kill with my emotions like mm. I take everything for exactly what it is it's like it's not you close the book move on yeah and I was very much in that mentality like it's not me close the book move on like I'm not one to like sit there and be like okay I've got to like type this text to him I've got to I've got to like try to like win him back maybe if I just show him who I am on the outside I don't know yeah. if that really happens but for me I was like I'll never see this person again. That's what's scary about Sagittarius is, and that's what I, mm-hmm. I like scares me about myself is like so many of my relationships, I completely close the door. I'm, I'm the like, same way. I will never speak to you and you will probably never be in my life again. Yes. Which is scary, which is weird because human connections and relationships are like weird in that way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I didn't have any interest in dating afterwards. Um, I went home. I spent a lot of time with my family. I was like bopping around with my friends and, you know, just everyone kind of like getting me through the breakup because it was weird. Mm. It was a weird thing afterwards. Like I was just talking to Kit and Kit was like she immediately went to therapy afterwards and like her therapist was like, you realize what you went through. No one has ever gone through that experience yeah. before like literally a, a small amount of people aka the people you go on the show with which is why you form like forge these relationships with them because they're the only ones that know what you went through there and she was like it's not normal right that's it, it's not normal to move through life that way it's not normal to date that way it's not normal to meet people that there's way. nothing normal well god i can't say that there's nothing normal about dating one man who's dating 20 other girls but but there's really nothing fucking normal no it's not because like you could think that maybe they're talking to other people yeah but you're not thinking they're talking to 25 other people no and you're not seeing it exactly because that would drive me insane not insane i would send myself home first night (laughs) i'd be like i'm not doing this i can't do this (laughs) and there are people like that there are people who get really jealous which is not a bad quality it just shows that you really care and you want someone's undivided attention like that's what shows you that that person cares about you but Oh yeah, and I wasn't a jealous person either, so I didn't even have that like little nudge in yeah. me either. Like I, also, I was, I never felt like you were thirsty for his attention either, because I felt, I, because genuinely you were like, I have his attention. Yeah, he's mine, girl. I, I'm telling you, I was cruising <laughs> through. I was like, yep, mm-hmm, yes. Mm-hmm. I was like, there's no. I was like, when are the wrenches coming? <laughs> oh my god! And then here it came, and that was that. That was that wrench. Wow. 